I will be reading Open Wide by Lori Keller. Open Wide. Open Wide by Lori Keller. Good morning, class. Good morning, Dr. Flossman. You're all looking clean and bright today. Let's begin by taking attendance. Incisors here. Four canines. Ruff, 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 ruff. Eight premolars here. And 12 molars. Yep, we're here, including the four wisdom teeth present. Oh, goody gumdrops. All 32 of you are here. In the principal's announcements, would you all please stand and recite our pledge? I pledge allegiance to this mouth and to the dentist who takes care of us and to the gums on which we stand, strong and healthy, with toothbrushes and toothpaste for us all. Class, good morning, teeth. This is Principal Fillingston with your daily announcements. Buses going home today might be a little late because of some bridge work being done. A tube of cherry flavored toothpaste was turned in to the lost and found yesterday. The cap is missing. And finally, there will be a dance after the big football game on Friday night between our own tooth school chompers and the Plaqueville germs. Go chompers! We're rooting for you. Have a great day, teeth! Take your seats, everyone. I'm handing back your quizzes from yesterday on what healthy teeth should look like. I must say, I'm a little disappointed. The only teeth who passed are the wisdom teeth. We better go over this again. Shiny clean teeth, good. Holy green teeth, bad. Let's move on. Here's a look at what you teeth are made of. One, when you're in the gums, the part of you that shows is the crown. Two, you're covered with a hard layer of enamel to protect you from bacteria and germs. Three, dentin makes up the biggest part of you. It's not as big as enamel. Four, pulp is the softest part. It's what hurts when you get a toothache. Five, the root is what holds you in place. It's protected by a thin layer of tissue called cementum. Dr. Flossman, Carl called me a bad name and it hurts my feelings because even though I have a hard enamel shell on the outside to protect me from bacteria and germs, it doesn't shield me from the bitter sting of cruel words. There, there, little molar. Hey class, now we're in for a real treat. Sally Incisor is going to read her report on primary teeth. Primary teeth by Sally Incisor. Primary teeth are also called baby teeth because that's what they are. Little bratty baby teeth. They all wiggled around so much that they fell right out of the mouth until there were none of them left. So us permanent teeth moved in instead. We will be there for a lot longer because we don't wiggle around at all. I don't know why those baby teeth were there in the first place. Babies don't even need teeth. You never see them eating corn on the cob or anything like that. So then after that, they go live under a pillow until a tooth fairy lady hauls them off somewhere. And that is all I know about baby teeth. The end by Sally Incisor. Thank you, Sally. Nice job. But actually, babies do need teeth. Baby teeth are very important for several reasons. They help develop the face and jaw. They help babies chew when they start to eat more solid food. And baby teeth guided your permanent teeth into proper position and kept the mouth healthy and clean. That's real swell, Doc. But who is the fairy of teeth? Good question, Conan Canine. Let's watch this fun and informative videotape so we can learn more about her. There, you cute little permanent teeth. This is the Tooth Fairy coming to you all the way from Toothland. It's my job to bring all the baby teeth here. When a baby tooth falls out, it gets placed under a pillow, which I've never understood. I particularly suffocate sometimes trying to get to it. After I take the tooth, I replace it with a little surprise, usually money. Then I tuck the tooth under my wing and we're off to Toothland. Well, that's about it for me. Oh, I almost forgot. There are free molar coaster rides on Tuesday night, so stop by. Toodle-doo toothies.
Want to go to Toothland? We want to go to Toothland. Settle down, Teeth. You can't go to Toothland. You're needed here. Oh, come on. Don't look so down in the mouth. We're going to the School of Dentistry a week from Friday, but right now it's almost time for lunch, so let's break up into our four groups. Food cutters, incisors, food terrors, canines, food crushers, premolars, food grinders, molars. Way to go, class. Get in there and eat. Cafeteria, Sess. Well, well, it looks like you all had a good lunch, but to stay strong and healthy, it's important to brush after meals. So what do you say we take out our toothbrushes and floss and clean ourselves up? Class, since you don't want to brush, why don't we open our books to the chapter on tooth decay? Tooth decay is caused by bacteria. Bacteria likes to eat sugar. Candy and cookies have one kind of sugar, and foods like fruit, bread, pasta, and milk have other kinds of sugar. Bacteria eats all kinds, especially those that stick to teeth. Things that are not very sticky are apples, bananas, hot fudge sundaes, sort of sticky, white bread, caramels, cream-filled sponge cake, pretty sticky are jelly beans, plain donuts, raisins, Super sticky are granola bars, oatmeal cookies, and potato chips. When lots of bacteria build up on teeth, that's known as plaque. Plaque eats right through the enamel, and if plaque keeps eating, it means only one thing, a cavity! That's more like it, teeth. Go get that bacteria! Flossman, my cousin got a cavity once and he cried and cried like a big baby. Well, Bubba Muller, a cavity can be painful, but a dentist can fix a cavity by drilling a hole into the damaged area of the tooth, clearing away the bacteria, and putting in a hard filling. Then it won't hurt anymore, and it's perfectly normal for a tooth to be frightened the first time it gets a cavity. Here are some common reactions. Common reactions to cavities. Shock, holy molar, panic, ah, get it off me, get it off me. Depression, oh, I look dumb with a hole. Self-pity, why me, why not a premolar? Fear, a hole, I'm afraid of holes. Anger, lousy bacteria. Blame, it's not my fault, it was that sweet tooth I dated last year. Denial, it's not a cavity, it's just a cute little pocket for me to keep all my favorite things in. Acceptance. Oh well, what are you going to do? When a cavity is too small to see, a dentist will take an x-ray. An x-ray can show the inside of a tooth. It makes cavities easy to see. Don't you worry, teeth. Brushing with fluoride toothpaste and flossing keeps away most plaque, but you should visit the dentist once or twice a year for a checkup to make sure you're healthy and clean. Important reminder about dentists. A good dentist cleans and polishes teeth and gives them a new toothbrush. A bad dentist skips work to play golf and sp sends his brother the construction worker to take the, his place. I still love that one. <laughs> if teeth are crooked, a dentist will put braces on them to make them straight. If a tooth gets broken, a dentist can repair it with a tooth-colored plastic to make it look like new. Class, I need to speak to the wisdom teeth for a minute in the hallway, but when I get back, be ready to give your reports on teeth throughout history. I really enjoyed having you wisdom teeth in class, but I'm going to pull you out and send you on to higher learning. You already know all this stuff, and you are probably bored out of your minds. You are the last four teeth in the mouth, but by far the wisest. Go forth! Do great things! Class, so let's hear those reports. Ancient Egyptians believed that a mixture of onion spices and incense would cure a toothache. 
In the 9th century, Mayans filed their teeth into different shapes and decorated them with jewels. In 1570, Queen Elizabeth received a gift of six gold toothpicks to clean her teeth. In the early 1600s, Japanese women blackened their teeth to show loyalty to their husbands. In the ages, Apollonia became the patron saint of dentistry. She said it, if someone with a toothache mentioned her name, the pain would go away. In the 1500s, people could get their hair cut, wounds treated, and teeth pulled by their barber. George Washington, the first president of the United States, had lots of dental problems. By 1796, he had lost all but one of his teeth. He had dentures made of elephant ivory, hippopotamus tusks, and cow teeth, not wood as you may have heard. The dentures had sharp hooks, screws, and springs that made it hard for him to smile. Excellent job, teeth. I'm so proud of you. Ring. We'll rinse, gargle, and spit in a cup. We're done for the day, teeth. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. Now don't forget your homework. And don't forget to brush. Hope you all enjoyed Open Wide by Lori Keller.